Hi, beautiful. Saya wanted to come and say hi. It's been a little bit since you guys first met her and she is such a good little, mm, I love you so much. Like look at her precious face. I want to eat her all the time. If she ever goes missing, it's because I ate her. Don't worry too much. So I've been seeing a lot of comments lately being like, Brad, you never react to bleach fails anymore. Listen guys, I've been through a lot of videos over the years. I've watched several of the worst bleach fails on the internet. They're hard to find sometimes, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I managed to find a couple of new ones that I think you guys are gonna really enjoy watching. These two videos based on the thumbnails and titles look like an absolute tragic mess. So I am so excited to watch with you guys and see exactly what happens. Let's do it. Daddy will miss you, he's gotta go to work now. Oh, say bye to everybody. Okay, up first we have a girl named Miranda Shea, and this is called Bleaching My Hair at Home Gone Wrong. Losing half of my hair. Sad face, sad face. Okay, let's see what happens. Sounds like possibly maybe half of her hair is going to fall off. I'm about to go drastically change my hair. So I'm on the way there right now. Hopefully it doesn't, because my hair is soft. I think it'll still be soft. Okay, so we are getting it done by a professional hairstylist. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought she was doing this herself. Uh, I'm a little more concerned now just because what's the hairstylist gonna do? Okay, I hope I don't embarrass any hairstylists today. I don't wanna do that. No, thank you. I'm good with that. Nope. She's trying to go really blonde, I believe. We'll see what journey she takes to get there. I am in the salon now. My hair is- What is that on her hair? Really fast. Um, they didn't really like expect it. Oh, it looks really light. Still toning, or not toning. My hair is still bleaching. It's still being bleached. Oh my God, it's so light. And like more bleach in the bottom part. This is the color. Okay, we're still in the process. Ooh, wait, what? Her hair is so blonde. Obviously I'm a little orange, but we still have the tone. How gingy. <laughs> it's weird, only, like this is ginge. And, and then it's blonde. blonde. And it was an all over color. I can see. Something happened. <laughs> Clearly. It actually looked better before they toned it, I think, in my opinion. This toner that was applied, I think it was a little bit too warm uh, or something or too dark or all of the above. I feel like it actually looks good and then they reversed every good thing that they did to her hair with an awful toner. However, I was not there. I did not do the consultation. I don't know everything. So who knows what actually happened? We did the same process for everything. It's very toned and good down here. It lifted all the same because we did an all over color. This up here is like ginger. Okay, here's the thing. I actually really like this tone on her. I don't know why she has such an issue with it. I mean, clearly it wasn't what she wanted, so I understand that, but I do think this looks really pretty on her and I'm not mad at it at all. Like besides the fact that they undid the good stuff that they did, you know, and took two steps back and said two steps forward. They won't touch my hair. They said it's too compromised. This is where I'm at for the next four Jayla weeks. Has that hair. It looks good. Four weeks and that's when we're gonna dye my hair again. So the next time you see me will be in the middle of November. I highly doubt she's gonna wait that long. Everything you've seen prior to this is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. But we're bleaching our hair at home. How did it get darker and purple? My home, by at home, I mean my friend's home. I'm gonna kind of speed through everything, but we're about to bleach this hoe, I think. I'm using cream liner. So it's not like powder bleach and I don't think it's as hot, like harsh. Cream liner. It's only eight levels of lift. Did she say it's not that hot? I'm about to mix it. Cream liner is usually more harsh than powder lightener and she just said it lifts eight levels. That's a lot of levels. Some cream lighteners go to nine levels, but it is strong, it is bleach. So it's not any better than uh, regular old powder bleach, you know? It Good luck. <laughs> Why is her hair purple all of a sudden? That's what I wanna really know. Like I wanna know how we got here because nobody's giving me that information. And who is this man doing your hair? We're gonna do foils. We're gonna make sure that we don't start. This is the weirdest looking foils I've ever seen. Okay. No promises on this one. Oh God. And she was worried about the integrity of her hair and now she's letting this random dude do her hair. Something about this doesn't seem right to me. It doesn't sit right with me. What do you think? Does it sit right with you? How are you feeling with that one? Listen, he's going in and honestly, it's not so bad. I'm glad that he's using foils. Holy sh Okay, so this is where we're at. Oh my. Everything seems really even. I'm gonna go wash it out in a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and use toner after I get this stuff out. Her hair is so blonde <laughs> and it is not even. Let me just tell you that much. There is no way this is gonna be even. I can't believe there was no stylist in your area that would do this for you. Your hair was not that compromised. Like somebody should have done it for you. This is it post shower. Uh... <laughs> and it's all one color. <sighs> I started turning it, and I think the toner's gray or something. So my hair is turning gray, and it's falling out in like clumps. You put so 
too much in on that You're spot. supposed to though. Other words can be orange. You can see the <gasps> one spot where you put. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what toner did you use? Why is it literally gray? <laughs> like what happened? What is this? Move faster. Half of your head is gonna be dark gray and the rest orange. Go, go, go. With toner, you're gonna get it on fast. Excellent gray coverage. <laughs> <gasps> okay, I'm pretty sure she's using 050, which is literally just blue pigment. She's so f This is going to be so bad. I already know what's going to happen. She's going to have to get the gray out of her hair now and bleach it again. And that's when I think the title comes into play, losing half of my hair. Oh my God, do something. Rinse it out or keep going. Like commit to something. Keep doing this anymore. I think you're just making it. I can't leave it orange. Listen to him. Oh, I didn't know this would do this. Why are you still going? I'm still doing it. Because what else am I supposed to do? I don't know. Stop. Go to sleep. This guy is me right now. He's like, just stop. Like, why are you doing this to yourself still? Like, just seriously stop. stop. It looks more purple now. Doesn't it look kind of? It's violet. Oh, it's violet. What about it? Purple? is. It's what, if I, what if I have purple hair? I'm gonna have purple hair. I'm gonna have purple hair. <laughs> no, no, no. I have purple hair. No, no, no. You have purple hair. Purple hair. It's gonna happen. I need to record it. Oh right my no. No, 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 no. He brushed it like a caveman. <laughs> What do you expect? He's not a hairdresser and he doesn't have long hair. I'm gonna have to go to someone tomorrow. Like, I can't do this. Oh, no. It's falling out so far. <gasps> no. This part didn't tone. This part overly tone. You guys wanted more bleach fails in this channel? Well, here you go. Yeah, I came home and my hair was really orange. Why is there more shit on your hair? I had accidentally picked up a gray coverage, went to Sally's, and I bought two packages of the Wella toner. I got it in T14, just pale ash blonde. And then I got a bottle of 20 developer. What do you think Wella T14 is gonna do for your hair? And 20 volume. It's gonna do nothing. You have to do a bleach wash at this point, get that toner out and start fresh. Like you need to remove what you messed up before you go and put more toner on it. Like it's not just gonna get covered up. You gotta take one step back and then forward again. I'll show you what my hair looks like currently. Oh. It's a mixture of a lot of different tones. That's the only thing that I feel like has gone wrong per se. Like this is actually- The only thing that's gone wrong? Okay, sure. Um, and it's not really a good look for me. I am going to a hair salon and she's going to tone it and bleach it in spots that I miss. I can't wait to see this get fixed, honestly. I'm really excited. I guess that I could admit now that I was overreacting just a little bit yesterday. Sorry, I'm so confused right now. Before I took another shower last night, it was really, really purple. And the thing is, is it's still pretty gray in the back, but the tone in the front is kind of killing it. I feel less boring. And I definitely need to text my hairdresser and apologize for Almost having a mental breakdown. I'm not happy about the entirety of my hair. Also, I kind of burnt my scalp a little bit. So it's not good. Honestly, from what I can see here, her hair looks really good. The more she washes it, the more that gray tone will come out and that kind of like cast of nasty toner will come out. I think the stylist did a great job at fixing it as much as she could. I feel so bad that you really cried and like made a big deal out of it. Like I understand it's an emotional process, but us hairdressers, we really take pride in our work. We want you to feel good about yourselves. I hope you didn't make your hairdresser feel bad because she definitely made it look a lot better and we're not magicians. We can only do so much. So your hair looks good. I think you actually look really pretty with blonde hair. It looks amazing. You do look more fun and wild and much more stylish and I really enjoy it. It'll just get better and better and better and I'm sure it will, but I think you look fantastic. And our next video is by Kelsey and Atlas and this is called Hair Bleaching Fail or Hair Bleaching Fail. That's probably more how you read it. Let's see what happens. And of course, I'm going to be doing something to my hair. What are we doing? It already looks a little dodgy. A few months now, I need to be blonde again. You're pretty blonde. Is demi permanent hair color. Like a rose gold moment you have. Permanent, permanent. But you can see where my roots are growing. <sighs> yes. So I bought Color Off today. Never used this before. I haven't either. I have a pretty decent picture 
right there. We will see if this works. So I got that to get the color off. And then I also got a T14 Wella toner because I did have red in my hair, which means it's probably going to pull orange. I do see T14 or T18 one more time. I'm quitting. I think I said that before. So I guess I should quit now. I'll see you guys later, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go. Gotcha. I would not have recommended her to use a color remover. You know, usually color remover is for people who have permanently colored their hair, like, you know, from a darker color. People haven't bleached their hair is what I'm trying to say. She's bleached her hair. All that's over her bleached hair is a semi-permanent color or a demi-permanent or whatever she said. You don't need to use color remover to do that. To me, color remover is a little more harsh than doing just like a bleach wash. I would prefer to do that before doing color remover. And then if the bleach wash doesn't work, then moving on to color remover. But color remover is kind of like my last resort. Um, just because it takes so much time. I just feel like it's unnecessary a lot of the time and I feel like it's just easier to expand the hair fiber with some bleach and just let the color come out really quick. It should be a really quick process at the sink. Bing, bang, boom. We like to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Maybe this will work for her. See like a hundred steps for these things. So annoying. Just so much work and it smells terrible. And it's 20 volume. It looks like it's honestly just bleach. <laughs> this seems like a, like a scam or something. I don't know. I mean, at least she's sectioning and she's working from the bottom up. I really appreciate that so much easier to do your hair from the bottom up rather than the top down because you can lay the hair over itself as you work your way up such an easy helpful tip right there i don't think i have high hopes for this let me say one more thing you're not supposed to put the color remover on your natural hair you colored your entire head with it you're supposed to stop where you, the color stops you're not supposed to put on your roots or else it'll lift your roots to like a gross orange color so yeah you're screwed already. Other than that, it doesn't really seem to be lifting very much, but sometimes with color remover, you need to wait the full time and then use warm water to rinse it out because that is how the color molecules slip out is with the water. So sometimes it just takes that water to make it all actually look better. I should have got two boxes. <laughs> oh, no. Boom. Boom. Let's see what happens. This is the face of disappointment. That is exactly what I knew was gonna happen. Her roots are gonna get way too light. You're not supposed to apply it to the damn roots. Just the artificial color. Color remover removes artificial color. So I was trying to avoid having to use like bleach, even though that's kind of basically what that other stuff is. That one looked like bleach, yeah. R.I.P. to me. I don't want to see it. I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to see what you just did. I don't like it. Okay, no, it, oh God, oh God, oh. Hot roots, <laughs> can somebody order some hot roots? Cause uh, I know it wasn't her. So now. What now? I'm going to mix up some bleach. Yes, I'm going to double process because I'm dumb. Dude, your hair is gonna be so damaged. Just for giggles, I'm gonna blow dry it and see just exactly how bad it looks. I mean, you should definitely blow dry it because you don't wanna apply the bleach on wet hair or else it's not really gonna do much. So you definitely wanna blow dry it first. Okay. It looks a little less red. Okay, so um, I just mixed up some bleach. This is cooked for a while and oh, my head's starting to burn. God, it looks so like... I'm guessing it's probably time to try and wash it out. Her head's burning right, and so yeah, I'd say wash it out. Your head should not be burning because you shouldn't have put it on your scalp. So what the f up with that? I thought we agreed. I thought we were on the same page, girl. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Ooh. Girl, your hair is gonna fall out of your head. Oh, it is falling out. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really bad. No, it does. It actually looks no better than the previous round of lightning. So maybe we should stop, you know? Oh, Brad Mondo, I got you something. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's red now? Oh, uh, no. And you can have it back. It's awful. This is hopeless. Is she making it darker now? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it could be good. I mean, it could be good if she uses the right color. I'm feeling a little bit less anxious now. Yeah, that actually looks decent. Because it's literally been on there for like five minutes. It's already better. Yeah. Okay. We'll see though. Oh, it still looks awful. The ends are still pink. And I have a feeling that everything that I did was all for nothing because I feel like it's not going to be awful anymore. Oh no, it's probably going to be awful still. Yeah. Um... I guess it could be worse. I don't know if it could be worse, babe. I don't know. I just don't. I think it's pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> 
Today's video has made me sad. My hair feels extremely damaged. Okay, at this point, at this very moment, we need to stop using permanent color. We need to stop using any developer that is not demi-permanent, okay? We need to stop <laughs> because your hair is becoming so compromised and for no reason, really, because you need to just do a really nice glaze, guys. The answer to all these hair fails is just a really nice glaze. You need to do a root and end toner moment, a deeper root with a lighter end. So use like a level seven on your root, seven end to darken them up, okay? Okay, then do like an eight N on your ends and things will look more even and better. That is a very basic formula, but I'm not gonna give you like a whole hairdresser formula to follow. These are just my recommendations to easily do on your own hair. Well, friends, I've never actually like legit screwed my hair up. So it's a first for everything. It's cool if you only look at like right here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna be wearing a hat. Oh, I feel bad. I'm gonna be praying that somebody can fix my hair. Highly disappointed in myself. Kelsey, 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 Kelsey. I'm so sorry. You seem like you're really upset over this and I totally understand. And there is somebody out there that can help you, I'm sure. Just please, if you, if you feel really, really, really bad about this, please go visit a hairdresser. I know it can be expensive, but it's worth you feeling good about yourself to splurge a little bit. Or you can try and do it one more time. Just use semi-permanent color or semi-permanent color and don't use anything above a 10 volume. We don't want any more damage being done to your hair. It's super important. Try a darker toner. Make your hair a little darker. It'll all be good. It'll be fine. You can get this figured out. At least your hair is not completely falling off your head. We can fix this. I wish you the best of luck. Seriously. <laughs> there you go, you guys. There was two epic bleach fails for you. I know you missed them a ton. Well, I brought them back. You're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe below. Give this video a like and maybe hit the bell icon, you know, so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, make sure you follow me on every other social media network. Please Please, let's stay connected, baby. Let's do it. I love you. Text me at this number and I may just text you back and have a beautiful conversation with you. This will also notify you every time I post a new video and other amazing stuff that you should know about me and my life. Make sure you guys check out Xmodo Hair at xmodohair.com to get beautiful, fabulous, amazing, glowing, gorgeous hair because who doesn't want that? At xmodohair.com, link below, or at xmodohair on Instagram. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Sydney and she says, hi Brad. So I was wondering if you think I could pull off bangs. I've been thinking about it for a while but I'm just not sure. This is what Sydney looks like. She's so cute. Yes, 100% you could pull off bangs. I say do it, why not? It's not like that hard to grow out. Okay, yes, it takes a while, <laughs> but I think you should try it out. Try a longer bang at first, maybe like at your cheekbone and then work your way up if you like it. You know, you can always go shorter, you can't go longer. Try it out and let me know if you do it. I would love to see what it looks like. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.